48 hours to about face on stacking silver. Let's do this fast. Let's do this in three minutes. Let's get it done quick. In the next three minutes, I'll show you why this silver stacking game, this silver market, it is forcing us to do a hard about face and never turn back and away we go. I've been in this game of stacking silver for decades. I'm one of those old time stackers that you read about. I'm the guy that has been hoarding silver, stacking it in monster boxes. I started back when the price was in single digits and now things are changing. Times are changing. You don't need me to tell you that. And, and, and I'm confident that you're just like me. Things come up in our lives that force us to reevaluate our investments, reevaluate our store wealth. I know, I know. I know many of us in this community, we agree that precious metals, silver, gold, they are a safe store of wealth. But now I've taken, stop, I, I've been forced to spend the last 48 hours reevaluating my stack of silver. Are you like me? S something has come up in my life and it requires me to put out a large sum of money. This, this happens. It happens to all of us. And now, now, now I'm looking at these monster boxes of silver rounds that I've been sitting on. Yes, it took me decades to accumulate this silver, but the great struggle for silver is that long-term performance lag. We cannot deny that issue. I'm talking about the basic economic theory of silver and gold. Both metals remain stagnant for long stretches of time. Their value, the spot price of silver, the spot price of gold, it remains stagnant for painful stretches. If you're new to stacking silver, then don't let me discourage you. Jump in, pick up a few rounds, stack a couple of tubes of silver rounds. I'm talking about the old-time stackers that have been doing this for decades. Please leave me a comment and let me know if this rings true for you. Four monster boxes of silver is valued at $45,000 on the low end. That is a strong nest egg, but, but, but it's only that. It is simply a nest egg, and it's a large amount of money sitting with a stagnant price. We all know the struggle for precious metals. We've all heard and, and have argued over this economic theory. Silver and gold are both unproductive investments. Four boxes of silver, really think about that. I could put this store of wealth into real estate. I could put it into stocks. You know, you know, you know that I'm not the YouTuber that frightens my viewers into buying silver. I don't frighten people into buying gold. I don't shout from the hilltops and, and fear monger people and, and and, and I don't frame them to believe that our economic institutions, our, our financial institutions are on the verge of collapse. That, that is not my channel. I invest in the stock market. I invest in real estate. I've been stacking gold and silver for decades. And now I've come upon a situation in which I need that large sum of money. And is it worth it? That's my question. Again, for everyone that has been stacking silver for decades and decades, please leave me a comment. Let me know your advice. I learn more from you than you from me. Of course, this is Pound of Gold, of course. She is of the opinion that I should cash out this hoard of silver. And if you've been watching my channel, then you know I truly am a gold man at heart. <laughs> it honestly would not be so painful for me to cash out silver. I know many people that stack silver for emergency purposes, but they're thinking of silver to use for bartering. I, I understand that plan. And for me, constitutional silver has always been my backup for bartering. This silver, I'm, I'm ready to cash out in the tubes that I've filled for decades. These are just generic rounds. Leave me a comment. I'm eager to hear your thoughts and explain that in three minutes. In my last video, Stuart Moore, 6310, said, the only difference when you buy physical precious metals instead of keeping your money in a bank is that it comes with a lottery ticket attached. I like that. He says, maybe one day that number will hit. Oh, and you get to keep your money in case the bank fails. Thank you for that comment, Stuart. I, I like the idea of, a, of gold as, as a lottery ticket. That is a great view, and, and, it, and it tells us that holding on to gold Holding on to any gold we have in our possession is better than cashing it out. And yes, bank failure is real. It is something we could really be living through in our lifetime. So precious metals are certainly the go-to way for us to store our wealth. Hit subscribe. I post three videos per week. Hit subscribe. I don't want you to miss it. And I'll see you in the next one.